In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to find the basis and dimension for a vector space. The question reads, find a basis for the space spanned by the vectors below. Find the dimension of the subspace of R5 that these vectors span. Now the first thing that we want to do is put these vectors as rows and find the row space, that is the space they span. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll write these out as a matrix, 1, 2, 1, 0, 1. That's the first row, first vector. 2, 3, 1, negative 3, and 2. 1, 2, 1, 1, 3. 2, 3, 1, negative 4, and 0. And at this point, you want to put this in row echelon form. It will take a while to do, given how fast you are with it. And if you do it correctly, I'm assuming that you already know how to put a matrix in row echelon form, where you have the leading ones in the main diagonal you'll end up with the following matrix. Take a look, and you'll notice that this row has a leading one, so does this one, and so does that one. Now what does that tell us? It tells us that the basis for the row space are the following, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and 13. That corresponds to that first highlight. 0, 1, 1, 0, and negative 6. The second one, and 0, 0, 0, 1, and two, the third one. In terms of our dimension, we can write down that the dimension of this matrix, let's call it A, is three. That's the answer to question number one. In question number two, we're asked, consider the set of vectors below, one through five, find a subset of the vectors that form a basis for the space spanned by these vectors. And B, using your results from part A, express each vector not in the basis as a linear combination of the basis vectors. The first thing that we have to do is write them as columns as opposed to rows because we want the basis vectors to come from the original set. So let's go ahead and do that. Our matrix should look like this. 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, 1. This one is 0, negative 3, 1, negative 4. And lastly, 1, 2, 3, and 0. We next put this in a row echelon form. And if you can't tell already, this is identical to what we had above here. So all we have to do is copy this matrix as our row echelon form. There you go, I've even erased the highlights. And from here you can see that vector 1, vector 2, and vector 4 form a basis for the space spanned by the five vectors. Notice the leading ones. That's vector 1, vector 2, and vector 4. Moving on to question B, using the results express each vector not in the basis as a linear combination. So what was not in the basis was this vector and that vector. That being said, we can write down V3, which was this vector, is equal to negative 1 V1 plus positive 1 V2. And for this one, v sub 5, the vector, is equal to 13 v1 minus 6 v2 plus 2 v3. Now just be mindful that normally when we write a linear combination, we use, for example, v sub 3 is equal to a scalar k times v1 plus another scalar, k2, v2. But since this is already in row echelon form, we can skip that and we can tell right away that it's negative 1 and 1. And similarly, the same thing can be said about this vector. We could have written it as scalars multiplied to the vectors, but we don't need to do that because this is already in row echelon form. And there you have it, two examples on how to find the basis and dimension for a vector space.